Seth, can you put baby girl in the crib? I'm putting these kids to work. <gasps> oh no! Hello! <laughs> Goodbye! Goodbye, Storm! And hello, welcome back to another episode of The Sims 2 Astro Legacy Challenge! Today, in today's episode, I am really hoping that we will age these, not even age them, uh, that we will see these old people finally pass away. These two old people that are just sitting thoughtlessly on opposite sides of the house. I, I, I don't even know what they're doing right now. They're just sitting here, being the world's most boring Sims. Mint is uh, off of work for like three days. So I feel like we can fill this time with going to our businesses. When Storm gets home today too, she is also gonna be on a three day weekend. While, oh, and look, Amber's gonna have two days off too. So yeah, we're on the we're on the cusp of a lot of our Sims having a couple of days off. So I wanted to do a little experiment where we go to, uh, oh my God, I can tell Amber to lick clean these old plates. That's hilarious. And she's like, what? I shouldn't have to clean these plates anymore. You know what? Don't. You know what? Don't. Amber, you don't have to clean plates anymore. You are no longer our maid. You are now wife. So I don't think you should have to clean those. So I'm not going to make you do it. I forgot what I was even saying. Here she is, everybody. It's our new Amber clone maid. Andrea. Andrea Shin. She's here to clean the house. Give it up for Andrea. Unclogging the toilet first thing. That's exactly what this house needs. Um, but yeah, okay, what I've been trying to say this whole time is that it's snowing. And uh, here at the Astro Legacy House, we are running out the clock on these old people who are just sitting here doing nothing. And in the meantime, I thought we could probably visit our businesses. I wanted to give the businesses a bit of an overhaul. I wanted to have our Sims uh, work there. I wanted to hire Madeline at the salon I'm hoping to open with Storm and Amber. And I wanted to do a little work at the Grilled Cheesatorium too. Or maybe we'll just bring the old people with us and we'll just see if they'll still age on the community lot of Belladonna Cove, because if so, we can kill two birds, really kill two old people with one stone and uh, just bring them along with us and let them die, possibly on Grizabella grounds. That'd be great. Look at these two. They're the spitting image of each other. It's like they were born in the same factory. Though I do think Andrea has a bit of a like more sharp face like she's got more of a jaw i think than than amber has uh andrea can you are you gonna clean oh shit while eating lunch at the team's local sports pub pluck and chuck uh storm sees a man gesturing wildly at a table nearby as he slowly turns a ripe shade of blue the bar is packed and only the man's date seems to be aware of the problem Storm could administer the Heimlich maneuver or wade through the patrons to find the bar's manager. I think she should just do the Heimlich maneuver if she knows how to do it. Storm heads over to the now purple-faced patron, lifts him up out of his chair, wraps her arms around his gut, and gives him the Heimlich. A half-eaten buffalo wing shoots out of him onto the table. The entire bar watches as the man recovers, and Storm is featured on the 6 o'clock news, earning her the air of responsibility the team had been waiting for. Uh, for her to display so they could promote her to assistant coach. Oh, sweet. Oh my god, she's closer. She's that much closer to becoming a superstar athlete and reaching platinum aspiration. Um, one thing that I also thought we could probably do while we're here today in this in today's episode and while we have the extra labor in the house of the old people as well, um, we have two open spaces in the family. We've got six sims on the lot and we're allowed to have eight. So I thought maybe we should get the baby making contest begun because we could always utilize the help of the elders. Um, we could always use the help of the elders to, oh my God, Amber. Ah. <laughs> she thinks it's hilarious. This is so weird. It's so weird seeing these twins. <laughs> uh, that, that totally threw me off. It was so funny seeing that sight that I like completely lost my train of thought again. I think it'll take a little while to get the babies you know, cooking? Ah, oh, damn it, Kara's at work right now. When does Kara get home from work, actually? <sighs> 15 o'clock, when she gets home. I think that we should get her. I don't care about Lezage's first kiss with chastity gear. <laughs> That's a lot of information. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking uh, along the way, let's get the, like, I think what we could do for Storm and Amber is just adopt a child. Uh, and since that's like a day process versus the three day-ish process of Kara having the baby 
through childbirth. Um, I think what we'll do, Amber, that's your carpool. Uh, we will go ahead and um, impregnate Kara, get that going. And then we will call and order an adopted baby because uh, we have more than enough money for it, like about a day away from it being born so that the kids are born at the same time and they can have a race to see which one grows up and shows me that it's a water sign first. So along the way, I think we should definitely stop by the businesses, but first I got to get everyone in a better mood. Okay, so Mint's doing good. I'll let him go bowl outside in the snow. Seth is gaming. Christy's looking at people out of the telescope. Yeah, you spying on the neighbors, Christy? I think she is. Well, no, she's more like spying on the ocean. Oh wait, no, I think she saw something. Who's out there? Yeah, she's really spying on some guy. Oh, Kara returned from work and she brought a friend home. Oh, she wants to give a gift. That's hilarious. Let's let's give Mal Ooh. <gasps> Malcolm Landgrab. That he's a rich guy. I know that for sure. We should give him a gift. Does she have anything to give? Oh my God, she has a, another TV. Let's let's give him this TV. Maybe that'll make him want to be our friend more. Since I don't even know where that TV came from. The the Landgrabs are always like it's the name of all the big corporations in The Sims a lot of the time, or at least in the early Sims. And uh, it's also. They're usually a rich, like, billionaire family. So very cool that Kara's rubbing elbows right now with Malcolm Landgrab, uh, the fourth. Uh, but now that she's home, actually, we need to try for baby because that's part of the plan today. Stop playing bowling. You guys come in here for your... Oh, my God. What the hell? Like, I told him to relax in bed, and he went and is diving in the pool, even though his it says he's going to go do it. Is that how you cross this area? Oh my god, do you have to do that to cross this area? <laughs> Is that for real? That can't be for real. Relax on this side, you dumbass. You could swim through the pool to get over here, but you couldn't sit on the right side of the bed. Try for baby. It felt like it was like too much trouble, too high stakes to try to get Storm impregnated by like just some guy. Uh, so I'm gonna have them just order a baby from the adoption store. Like Ramses and Sierra in generation one. Listening. <laughs> Uh-oh, is Gabriel Green going to go yell at Christy? Dang it, I don't think she got pregnant. Oh my god, he's fighting her! Hold on. Oh my god, she's she's not taking this lying down. Don't flirt. Shove him! Don't let him don't let him get out of here without a fight. Is he leaving? God damn it, he's leaving. He got out of here without a fight. Well, the, I, I, this is working out well. This is exactly what I hoped would happen. The old folks are just kind of staying in their wing of the house. So that's nice. They're kind of out of my hair, but still having a good time, I think. Seth taking a bath. He loves to do that. He wants to buy a bass. Everyone wants to buy these like instruments. And I'm just like, no. Um, okay, well, I'm a little disappointed y'all didn't make a baby. Can we try one more time, maybe? <laughs> Not to be weird, but like, let's just try one more time. Oh no, Storm got sick with food poisoning? How did she manage to do that? God. I look away for two seconds to try to get this Cara Pistachio impregnated with Mint's baby. And she food poisons herself. Okay, so now Amber's at work. But when does she get back? Maybe we should just go, let's say that we're going tomorrow. We'll have tonight to get everyone's mood in order to try to get this baby made. Oh, come on, guys. Do you think that Mint is infertile? You think he's got weak sperm? He's doing it again! Is this just magical? Like, why is he able to do this? Is this glitched? Hey, Amber got promoted. Good job, Amber. I, I don't understand what is going on here. It's just like he came in here. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he's really fit too! <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Seth gets possessed by this ballet bar. Uh, he maxed his body skill just now. Uh, get off of there. What the fuck are you doing, man? I don't know how or why that happened. And I feel like that was a glitch, but he just maxed his body skill points. Seth over here just quietly maxing all of his skills. Good for him, I guess. Uh, I'm still pissed that y'all didn't get pregnant yet. Hold on. Since my friend Robin had such a great time with you the other day, I thought I'd see if you wanted to go downtown. Uh, should we do it? Yeah, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, trying to get her ready for the downtown 
event. I want Amber to come with us too. And thankfully she's like an okay mood, but her energy's a little on the low side. But not much we can do about that, except maybe get her to do a very quick espresso. Oh, am I supposed to just go to a community lot? Okay, let's go to the coffee shop. Uh, I wanna see if uh, the time will just keep passing when we go to Belladonna Cove community lots. Um, okay, I guess like the, I, I was planning for the whole family to go downtown, but apparently we're not going. And now I'm going to the coffee shop and I'm hoping it's still even gonna let us go somewhere. I don't even know. Oh my God, Amber, you're vibrating. Just leave me here like this. Okay, well, now that you've had that espresso, why don't you hit the sack? Okay, here we are at the Center, Center Drip Coffee Shop, and I want to see if, like... Oh, yeah, did the group come with us autonomously? Very cool, very cool. Okay, so we're having a little group outing. It's with Robin. She seems stuck in our car. You, you okay there, Robin? Don't know how we're... Oh, there we go. She's out. She's out. Okay, who else Who else came with us? How did y'all all fit in my car is also a question. Oh, she just left. She just left the lot. I... Can we can we get the group together? Oh, this is a cute place! Oh my god, I've never seen this place before! Oh my god, I fucking love it. Allison Custer and Samantha Cordial. She's just here. Okay, so only this girl and she's leaving. Why did you guys even come? Why did you guys even come? Are we ending the group? Okay, well, I'm gonna end it before it gets too bad, I guess. Whatever. We're just gonna enjoy ourselves down here instead. If I had put more effort into it. I tried. I, I put you all in my little tiny sports car, and then you all sat in my sports car, and then you left instead of hanging out with me at this cute coffee shop. In fact, why, Storm, why don't you recite some poetry? Oh my god, it's Kimberly! <gasps> it's Kimberly from college! You got a job here, Kimberly? I mean, it's Soul Bigs here too. I if only I could have brought Mint. Mint hates this girl. No one even clapped for that. I thought that was great. Okay, try stand-up comedy instead. Maybe you're more of a comedy queen. Nothing. Oh my god, she didn't even she didn't even captivate anyone enough to sit down. Justin Cleve Justin Cleveland? <gasps> Is that the Justin Cleveland? Son of Jason? Hold on, I hear noises outside. Are y'all fighting? Solvik fights with everyone! Solvik is like the town ass! What a bitch! Oh my god! Ooh, I hope they fight. Chastity! Kick her ass, Chastity! Oh, Chastity, something happened. Can we get a can we get a roll tape to whatever Chastity Gear did earlier? I think she shared a first kiss with someone or something. I don't care about Lesage's first kiss with Chastity Gear. Hey, Autumn's here. That's funny. Autumn's trolling the cafe, looking for people to cuck her husband with. Oh my god. Oh man, Storm thinks that Kimberly's hot too, but she's like too busy working. I wish I could ask her to stop working for a second. <laughs> I don't think there's any way I can tear Kimberly from the bar. She's too passionate about her mixology. Okay, um, what if I tend the bar for a second? <laughs> can I do more with her? No. She doesn't want to be reminded about college. That terrible, terrible time where in a fit of madness, she tried to date Madeline of all sins. This was, this has been a bust. Okay, so it's 2 a.m. on Tuesday when we got back. I wasn't paying good attention on if the, this is the same time that we left the lot just now. I'm just, I'm not good at this. Okay, so anyway, let's nurse up everyone's needs. We'll go ahead and tomorrow morning, go and fix up our community lots. Oh, Seth wants to maximize all his skills. I actually think we could do that after that freakish situation we just had with the ballet bar. Okay, cool. Hey, look at you watching the TV. Kara Pistachio loves watching VH1. She's thinking about woohoo. <laughs> all right, folks, we're getting our moods up so that we can go out to our community lots and make them over. So eat your stupid omelets. Oh my god, you didn't even serve one to her? Yeah, seriously, that's what I'm saying. You have to get up to eat that. Belphegor has adopted a dog. Belphegor's never seen what life is like with a bunch of animals in the house. She doesn't know better. Oh, Kara actually needs to go to work. This makes me think maybe we bring Christy, we bring Amber, we bring Mint. 
We leave Kara and Seth here. We'll go to the Swift and Thrift Mini Mart first. Go do some renovations while Kara and Seth stay here. Why did her comfort just randomly drop to like negative? Oh wait, is it from her food poisoning? That that was crazy. Okay, here we are at our Swift and Thrift Mini Mart community lot that we just kind of bought. Oh my what? She wants to hire Robin as an employee. That's very funny. We should. We absolutely should. Oh yeah, this is a perfect opportunity for Amber and Storm to have this is where they can pretty much host their mistresses and and misters. So I should definitely set this place up to have a bedroom uh, so that they can fuck and also meet new people. This is perfect. Okay, so I'm going to renovate this place. I think we have decided on doing a, I'm saying like a hair salon slash boutique. So maybe there's clothes you can buy too. Okay, so now that we've got that all built, let's see if this stuff works. I'm gonna like try it out now. <laughs> I don't know how much I'm gonna actually like these lights. Ooh, set mode. Ooh, that is fun. Okay, so that's fun to configure. Um, let me lock this door to allow household only, household and employees only. And then uh, who owns this? I think, I guess technically Storm owns this. So I think what we need first is a phone. We need a phone. I didn't get a phone. Business, hire employees for this lot. So my my thought is I'm gonna try to invite over Madeline and have Madeline work here for sure. Christy hates it in here. She thinks it's garish. Let's set the price for everything. Oh, Barbara Maselli. That was someone something that uh someone that Madeline went on a on a on a date with once. Oh, we want to hire Robin. I think we should hire Robin. She's a prep cook right now. Might as well take her out of the competition with the rest of the um culinary sims yes give up your job to come work for us robin uh but okay yeah i also want to offer a job to uh madeline so i'm gonna invite madeline over to see if we can get madeline hired here maybe belphegor too <gasps> what about belphegor too that might be cool and yeah, we can invite over all our friends to work here so that'll be cool so ideally what i tried to do with the design here was make it to where we could stay here as long as we wanted because we have everything a, a sim could need to restore their wants upstairs their needs upstairs rather. Um, okay, so now I'm also gonna call over Belphegor. Belphegor is out working, unlike somebody I know. Excuse me? I am at our business. What are you talking about? I was trying to give her a job. Well, excuse me, Belphegor. I don't think you'll be getting a job here. Where's Madeline? There's Madeline. Okay, Madeline's here. I think we're, we're at a good price for the stylist. Let's greet Madeline. Gabriel Green is thinking of what, like buying our jukebox? That's not for sale. Amber, what are you even doing? Setting the price for everything? Yeah, okay. Uh, Jane Stacks is having a baby. Good for her. Madeline, hire. Madeline, I want you to work here. Come here. Stop looking at those clothes. Come here. You stupid idiot. Come here. Let me hire you. Le oh, oh, is that gonna make Madeline give up their current job as leading man? But I mean, like, am I kidding myself thinking that Madeline will get to the top of their career in story progression mode? I don't know. Because hmm. Madeline just wants to get $100,000, not necessarily. Yeah, you know what? You know what? No, we're hiring Madeline, actually. I know we just got Madeline to leading man in the showbiz career, but I think let's get Madeline to give up those dreams to work here instead. Yes. Who cares? We're not playing Madeline. Madeline's not successful. Why, why try to keep them successful? Madeline will start work immediately. Okay, so let's go ahead. First of all, management. Um, assign... Be stylist and set uniform. And uh, we'll set the uniform at the Astro Legacy Salon. Oh my God, that's the word I was looking for. Okay, so at the Astro Legacy Salon, <laughs> what did you do the little nutcracker up? I think that's funny. Okay, yeah. And then Christy, why don't you come over here and offer a free makeover to uh, Carlos? Because Carlos is a dad now and I think he needs to look better. And then I'll have the girls be cashiers for a second. And Mint is just out here. See if we could get maybe mints to do some sales. Oh, hey, we, we actually sold something to Gabriel Green, I think. Though Amber's taking a really long time on the purchase system, on the POS system. Oh, but our, we gained a rank, hell yeah. I think it's because mint is so like popular and charismatic. I'm just trying to see if these are like, they can work like. Oh, the first simoleon was earned, yay, that's exciting. Let's put it up on the wall, okay. I'm still just trying to test out to see if we put enough space here for the uh, 
for the makeover like chair. Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah. This one works. I can't get Christy to stay still long enough to actually fucking do anything. Let's offer a free makeover to Samantha. Samantha Cordial, our, our old friend and rival. Okay, Madeline's doing some work here. This is Madeline's dream job, you guys. Uh, did you actually do anything to Carlos? I don't see anything. Oh, okay, maybe Carlos got to pick what he wanted. Well, he picked a bad thing. He, I don't like it. Can I help you, Samantha? You look, you look scared. You look confused. Samantha, after I finish hitting on my knees, can I help you out? Samantha, what's wrong, Samantha? 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 Oh, no, don't hire Samantha. We don't want to hire her. She obviously is confused. But we just need to help her out. Come on. The good news is I think everyone's still aging. Can you, will you let me help you? Why oh, you fucking asshole? I think I'm gonna open up this area just cause I'm nervous that it's not, it's like too much. Uh, Kirstie's still mad at Gabriel Green because he was mad that, she, he was mad that she was spying on him. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is what we were trying to figure out. I think everyone is capable of, cool, getting a makeover. That's great. Um, Amber. Uh, Jason Cleveland's been promoted. He oh, Jason Cleveland's an old man now. Time has really passed. Okay, uh, we're about to close the business real quick. Okay, let's drive home all together now. And then uh, I think what we'll do is pick up everyone else to then go to the Grilled Cheeseatorium because it's ha it's a happy time that the salon is working and Milan, Milan, what am I saying? The salon is functional and Madeline works there. Okay, we're back at the house. Still need to work on making a baby, honestly. Oh, Storm is sick with food poisoning, I forgot. I think, let's get, let's try to get Mint and, and Kara hooked up. Oh God, Kara's not doing good. Uh, hold on. Oh, well, I know what will make you feel better, Kara. <laughs> There's a penguin in here. Whoa, it's going upstairs. I didn't know this penguin could come in the house. Um. Is it going to use the bubble blower? What is this penguin going to do? It's just walking around the house. Oh, it's it's waving to our fish, our dead fish. How cute. Oh, my God. We oh, my God, we've conceived. OK, sweet. So let's this episode for the remainder of the episode, we will wait out Cara Pistachio giving birth to that baby and then i think we'll try to time it to to where uh amber and storm can adopt a kid around the same time i can't believe this penguin what happened to the gardener can i ask what the fuck happened i haven't seen the gardener in 30 years did we fire her it's all weedy in here what is this penguin doing just walking around it's just so funny just make yourself oh yeah why don't you just block me when i'm trying to come out here and pull the weeds Everyone wants to buy a vacation home. It's insane. Y'all having a good time in here playing poker? Seth and Mint have always liked spending time together like this. Oh, nice. Christy made lobster thermidor for the family. That's so fancy. We have really reached a new level of luxury. We are so rich. We are so fancy. We're living the good life, having lobster for din. It's like, hey, mom, remember when we used to have grilled cheeses all the time growing up? We've really come a long way. I got married. Mint got married. You all got married. All the kids that mattered got married, and I'm so proud. Oh my god, this penguin is just walking around the house. He's making himself at home, which, like, power to him. I'm glad he's making himself at home. Went out the garage. Our front door was locked, I just realized. <laughs> Going back in through our garage. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Is it going back to the fish tank? No? Maybe. How did he get all the way out here? What, you need to go back to Antarctica. It's too, is it too late to throw a party? Oh, she doesn't want to throw a party anymore. I'll have her bowl. <laughs> Seth teleported out here to play bowling with Cara Pistachio. Okay, so both Amber and Storm have rolled the want to buy a vacation home. And I was thinking since Mince wants to go on an island vacation and so does Cara Pistachio, maybe we can buy a vacation home in at the beach now. So I'm thinking about doing that next. 
as well. So I'm locking in all those ones. Kara, don't you dare. Don't you dare eat that rotten lobster. You stop that. So if we do the timing right, when Kara Pistachio is like in her second or just starts her third trimester even? Yeah, I think that'll actually be it. When she first, when she, wait, blah, 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 blah. When she first starts her third trimester, we will go ahead and have the other couple order their baby from the adoption agency. Okay, I think Kara Pistachio is now showing. She has now entered her first trimester of baby bumpdom. Good for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should be excited, you're pregnant. You should probably tell people that you're pregnant. I don't think men's will care, but I care. So congrats, Kara Pistachio. Can we get a congratulations, Kara Pistachio, in the comments below, since her own husband probably won't give her love for this? Oh my god, is Seth sleeping out here? No, he's just sitting. He's just sitting, staring into the abyss. Christy's just gaming, or are you blogging? I think she's she's browsing for games. She's playing coolmathgames.com. Cool math she's maximizing, she's min-maxing on Lemonade Stand. Storm has gotten all the skill points that she needs. Now I'm gonna just get her mood up. She doesn't go back to work for another day or two though, so. Okay, someone's home. Mint? No? Oh, no, 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 that's Amber's carpool. Go to work. Anyone else have a carpool? Kara, go to work. Even though she's pregnant. Man, what a crazy business lady she is. This power, power queen. Off to work, pregnant. Oh wait, no, she's not pregnant, she's just fat. Hold on a second. I didn't, re oh wait, okay, this is confusing. I think she, she is gonna get pregnant, but I think she actually just got fat. She didn't get pregnant yet. <laughs> oh my God, that's really funny. <laughs> Well, she's off to work. She's not quite on maternity leave yet because she's just fat. She's not pregnant. <laughs> she wants to woohoo in the love tub. Why not while your lover is at work? Let's invite over your first uh, affair partner. I guess we could go to like the, uh, what, the, the salon to do this. Should I do that? Is that safer? Maybe that's safer. Yeah, you know what? Hold on. Get changed really quick. Oh, the maid's here. Hey, Andrea, you've got your work cut out for you today. Can we get a round of applause for Andrea? The Amber clone. Okay. What are you gonna do? Are you chasing me around to bow at me? I don't think so, Christy. Why don't you go to the bathroom? Like you always need to do. Every bathroom in this house is a huge mess all the time. I don't get it. We have really nice bathroom furniture. I don't know why it's like that. <laughs> so we're here at the salon that we still need a name for. Um, and I think we need to hire a couple more employees because I'm thinking if we want Storm to just be able to do what she wants um, in, this, in this area, uh, we need to have enough employees running around that she doesn't need to do anything. So I think we need four total, two stylists and two, like maybe one cashier and one salesperson. I'm tempted to hire Barbara Maselli. That might be kind of funny. Sunny Patch? Let's hire Barbara Maselli because she has experience doing the register and restocking. These guys are just toy makers. So let's hire Sunny Patch. She seems promising. Okay, now let's call all of the employees in and let's get their stuff set up. And then we'll choose who we want to call over for Storm to have an affair with at the salon. Okay, let's see. Who could we call over? Robin or Melissa? Let's call over Robin. Oh, Robin's not home right now. Okay, then let's call someone else. Melissa it is. Okay, she's coming over. We haven't seen Marissa since college. All of our employees have come in. So let's have... Madeline B, the stylist. Oh my God, Robin's here. I thought, Robin, I thought you weren't coming. Oh, she works for us. I forgot. Okay, interesting. Hmm, all right, we'll think about this. So we wanna slow dance and ask him on a date? That's so boring. Okay, uh, we want Madeline to be the stylist still. Barbara, I want you be the other stylist. And then Sunny, I want you to sell items. So I guess we need a cashier. Robin, are you here to work? I hope so. Um, you, yeah, I guess, <laughs> be a cashier. Even though I just made out with you. Uh, okay, cool, so then let's open the business. Okay, so we got Barbara, we got Barb's over here at Stylist Station, Stylist Station 1. We got Madeline taking on Stylist Station 2. We're greeting Marissa. We got Robin on the cash register, hoping she doesn't see this go down. Okay, all good. Let's go upstairs, Marissa. Temporarily unlock the door. Let's go up here. Let's, uh, hopefully she'll follow us. Nope, of course not. Um, Marissa, stop looking at stuff. We're trying to call her upstairs now. 
Oh my god. Stop trying to sell to her. Stop trying to sell to my affair partner. Stop. No, 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 no. Don't greet someone. No, no, no. S bring her upstairs. Bring her upstairs to the boudoir. Come on. Come on, Marissa. Oh my god. Sunny Patch, stop it. Stop trying to sell to her. We're trying to get her to come upstairs. Marissa, come upstairs. Stop trying to think about buying my cologne. Okay, I'm gonna lock the door behind Marissa. Okay, Jesus Christ, that was so much, that's so much work. Okay, how did you guys still get in here? I just locked the door, Victor. Victor, fuck off. Oh my God, Victor. Victor, he's like up here, he's like, where am I? What is this? I locked the door. Get out of here, get out. Jesus, he's like, I hate this business. I'm like, I hate you. How did you even get in here? It's locked. Oh my god. Lock? Allow me only. Yeah, you don't get to come in here. You guys stay out. Stay out. Okay. We're gonna try. I, she, fuck, she doesn't even want to bang Marissa. She wants to go on a date with her. What is this romantic asshole? Okay, ask her on a date, I guess. And then meanwhile, we've got the business running down here. You're doing a great job, team. Marissa, stop trying to buy stuff! I just want Storm to have her time in the sun here, in the romance sun, while we have the salon going downstairs. Which, we need a name for a salon where you take your mistress. <laughs> so if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. Why do you always want to slow dance? That's so weird. What, are you gonna try to buy our sink? That's not for sale. Where are you going?! Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Marissa, stop! Marissa, stop! Yeah, you don't get to do that. Stop what you're doing and come back upstairs. Our business is now rank one. That's cool. Oh, Marissa's also a, a romance sim. She gets how it is. She gets it. You guys suck. You know that? You suck. Oh, our business went down again. Good God. It's going up and down and up and down. Snip, snap, snip, snap. Let's look at the break, break dancer. <laughs> She's really working it. Break dancer. She doesn't even have a name. Okay, what do we want to do? Lower hands? Oh god, not all that again. That- that got fucked up last time, girl. Oh my god, we got a business star for making out with her. That's- that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, Marissa wants to woohoo in bed, so let's just do that. That was the whole point. That was the whole point of this date. I- I thought that, uh, fucking, you know, she's a rookie. Uh, Storm is a rookie here. She's like, she wants to fall in love with this woman on this date instead of just, like, have an affair with her. Oh my god, the- the business just keeps going back to zero. She wants to woohoo with Marissa in the car, but you know, I'm just not quite in the I just, I'm not ready yet to have that happen. Let's turn on the vibration feature of this bed. Oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> woohoo! Oh my God, she's doing it. Baby's first affair. Oh my God, here we go. Here goes this little romance sim. Making her dreams come true. She finally did roll the want to woohoo with Marissa. Oh no, not a cinematic. This feels wrong. <laughs> I don't want to watch it this intimately. She's betraying Amber right now. It's fucked up. That was rascalous. Oh shit. Oh no. She just broke up with someone. Who? Wait, someone just got mad? Okay, it wasn't Amber, so that's that's really all that matters. But I think Robin just got upset. That's that that's funny. I didn't think Robin would be able to tell that that happened. Let's end the date while we're on top here. How did she see that? That's crazy that she saw that. Maybe they were loud. That, that does imply that they were loud. <laughs> so I guess that's what we get for hiring someone that we wanted to have, like, have a date with. <laughs> Maybe we could just fire Robin. <laughs> no, wait, we could smooth talk Robin. Let's let's smooth talk her. But that was a successful affair, I think. And yeah, Amber is none the wiser. Our sweet, sweet Amber. And our business is now rank one. Oh my God, look at her strutting around. That's really funny. What are all these bags on the floor about? Oh my God, smooth talk her next, Jesus. Oh my God, now Marissa's mad. I didn't realize that was gonna make her mad. That's crazy. Smooth talk her now. Oh my god! <laughs> She's taking turns making people mad. <laughs> okay, maybe if we like leave the room. Hold on. <laughs> Marissa, can we let's say goodbye to Marissa and then let's smooth talk Robin. God, what a day. I'm <laughs> just waiting for Marissa to go home so I can smooth talk Aunt, like Robin back on my side again. Madel, you guys can take a break. You guys can take a break. Take a break. 
Take a break, you guys. Barbs, Madeline, take a break. Good job, everybody. You did great. And Marissa's like, I'm still here. I wish she would go home. Yeah, Robin's still like pissed at us. Fuck this woman. Hey, we didn't do anything to you, Robin. Okay, what about if we close the business but don't send the employees home? Storm is like tragically slow on the cash register. <laughs> Nice, but we did sell the cologne. Okay, she's finally leaving. Well, yeah, let's close the business now. Let's smooth talk. Smooth talk Robin real quick. Look at her strutting in. I'm sorry, Robin. Get over it. <laughs> Look at her face, slack-jawed Robin. She's shocked. She can't believe Storm is doing this right now. <laughs> <laughs> we're back. We're back, everyone. Okay, let's send the employees home. They did a good job today. And we're going back to the house. So that was a wild time at the salon, at the Astro Legacy Salon. Um, now I think we should set our sights on this baby that's supposed to be coming. Even though Cara Pistachio isn't pregnant yet, she's just fat. That, that is just too funny. <laughs> when are you going to sh start showing, Kara? Oh man, you poor thing. Has she gotten a career reward yet? Oh, she has, the podium. Um, yeah, so Storm is doing great now. She's in platinum, her her needs are full. Doing awesome. Doesn't feel like the maid cleaned anything today, but whatever. Not getting along super well right now, huh? Maybe she can tell. Oh, she doesn't wanna do fucking anything right now. She's like, no, I hate you. I'm like, fair enough. All right, she, it's like she knows what we just went and did. She's like in a bad mood now. <laughs> We'll get some leftovers. Oh my God, Marissa brought Kai some flowers for their dates. Yikes. Get out of here, Marissa. Oh my God, she's letting herself in? What's going on? Why is she letting herself in? Are you walking through the house? What is your deal? Gonna go out the garage? Why did you even come in, you weirdo? That was really strange. <laughs> There's so many books on the floor terrible oh here oh wow okay so marissa just gave us a telescope she's sneaking through the house again but that's cool it's fun to have a second telescope it's one of the good ones too i'll put it on this side of the house she's feeling a little bit better maybe she'll want to look at the, the telescope now oh she wants to adopt a child oh my god i actually actually that's rare that's rare hold on before that goes away i'm gonna just have her order the child because that's what we're waiting for this episode is getting the biological child cooking and also adopting a kid. So if, if we're rolling a want for it, let's fucking do it, man. I can't believe she actually rolled a want to have a child because I feel like both of them as romance sims don't really want commitment or family, but that's cool. Let's do it. Why not? We're rich. We have plenty of money. We have plenty of room. Let's, let's do it. Okay. Sweet. We've been approved. They'll come by tomorrow at 10. Anna Patel is now pregnant. Oh my God. Anna Patel's pregnant again with a second baby. How funny. They don't have enough room for that. Okay. So if that's the case, what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and do a quick switch where I put Mint's room back upstairs. Wait, 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 actually, actually, I have a better idea. Hold on, let me think about this. Cause I think the baby being downstairs is better. So I'm actually gonna move the hobby like space upstairs. That's gonna kind of make upstairs, aside from the old folks bedroom, kind of like uh, just a place that you hang out in, which is cool. I'm gonna open up this area up here and I'm just gonna make this like the party space, I think. Okay, and then this plastic surgery machine I'm interested in, I feel like we should take it to um, the salon eventually. Cause I think that that would be a kind of funny service to offer at the salon is like plastic surgery. So I'm bringing that downstairs, putting it in the legacy hall for now, since that is an aspiration reward item. And then, uh, okay, so what I'm thinking is let's turn this room then into a nursery. I actually think, you know, it'd be funny is if up here, I do, yeah, I like how this is turning out. So this turns this into like the big rec room upstairs. Like, okay. And then I also think what would be funny up here, the microphone, like that way they can like tell, like do stand up and like stupid shit like that. You know, like t do poetry. Uh, let's see, where should we put it though? I actually think what would be funny is if we put a little stage, let's, let's make it, let's do it. Let's, let's do the whole thing. Perfect. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is, <laughs> yes. We'll have like a little, uh, little stage set up here. Okay, yeah, so then this becomes like a little party space for us uh, where all of our little party things can go. And then you've got the bubble blower up here and then you've got the old folks place over here too. And then downstairs can then become the nursery. Okay, 
I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Just a simple little nursery. So yeah, we've got like a little nursery. We've got the fun room upstairs. I think that's a great renovation. And now when the baby comes, we'll have space for it. And then I guess actually I should grab some high chairs too. He wants to still see the ghost of Solvig. That would be very funny. Oh, 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 oh. Is she with a little one on the way? Kara's been placed on maternity leave. Okay, so mater Vassal is getting engaged to Canna McGaw? Ah! Oh my God, I wanna go to the wedding. And Justin Cleveland adopted a dog. That's stupid. Uh, but oh my God, I can oh my God, oh my God. Whoa, Canna McGaw and Vassal got together. They're a perfect match. They're a perfect match. They both suck. Oh my God, that's so funny. That is so funny. I wow, wow. How, how hilarious. That's, I love, I love. Kevin Beer is getting engaged to Gretchen. Man, Gretchen was really the one that got away from Madeline. She has completely moved on and she's engaged. Madeline couldn't get married to save their life. How embarrassing is that? <laughs> Storm has the day off and Amber's purple is gonna arrive soon. Kara has the day off as well because she's pregnant. Congratulations, Kara. Okay, these two are still, they got the spark still at least and that's what's most important here. She's still waving at her in the morning. Yeah, she's doing good. The old people are getting very, very close to dying, thank God. And the baby should be on the way soon, too. So should the maid. Oh my God, look at her little, she's wearing her little maid out, out hat to, uh, to work still. I love that. All right, well, hopefully when she, by the time she gets back, we'll have a baby, which is crazy to think about. Um, I don't feel like this couple's ready at all to have a baby, but they're like halfway through their adult lifespan. We gotta get this baby making competition started. So Seth is just taking a bath. What, what skill do you still have left to max? Cooking charisma and cleaning. Okay. It's funny, Seth has all of this knowledge stored up from all of his years of being successful, but no one really cares to learn it from him. Like no one's talking to him about it. He's not sharing this knowledge with anyone. He's just accumulating it. And I just think that's really funny. He was an education minister. He was dying to teach, but no one in his family cared to even talk to him. <laughs> yeah, is he close to his friend? No, he's still very, very close to Mint and Storm. And Madeline, he's actually, he's best friends with all his kids. So that's cool, I like that. I thought the baby, maybe the baby's coming tomorrow. Did we do the same thing we did with like Storm and Amber? Or no, no, no. The same thing that we did with Ramses and Sierra where we ordered the baby and we thought it was coming the next day, but it comes like two days later for some crazy reason. I guess that'll give, uh, that'll give Kara more time to brew the baby in her belly. I hope that Andrea comes and picks up these books. Just a couple of kids eating some chili con carne while she brews a baby in her belly. I can't imagine how fucked up their baby's gonna look. Like they've got some faces here. Like Mint doesn't have a nose. It'd actually be kind of funny. We could probably use the plastic surgery machine to try to give Mint a nose back. That would be kind of funny to, to try out. I bet we have to be in platinum to use that object though, safely. Okay, did Seth maximize his cleaning skill just now? Yay, congrats Seth. Okay, now all you have left is charisma and cooking. Kara's eating for two, so I'm gonna have her finish off this second bowl of chili. She's allowed. Pregnant lady coming through. She's allowed two bowls of chili. Yeah, that's right. Eat that second bowl of chili, girl. Wanda Tinker has been promoted. Congrats to her. Andreas, I still need you to get these books, girl. Amber's back. She didn't do great. She still needs to work on some skilling. See, I'm glad I locked in. Adopt a child. But you know what'll get her into platinum pretty fast is a quick bang sesh with her wife. I think she just got fit again, too. Good for her. We really need to get Amber her own affair partner too. I, I feel bad that we haven't gotten her as much action as we've gotten Storm. Nice, thank you, Andrea. You, la Andrea, you didn't even clean up these books that are right in front of your fucking face. Uh, 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 you know what? Maybe this is the moment. Maybe because we have Amber in the house now, I have no connection to Andrea. Maybe we finally fire the maid and we switch her out for a butler. I'm pissed that Andrea left these books out. I can't believe she just did that. That was it, Andrea, it's over, Andrea. I don't wanna have to give it up for you, putting these books away myself, and then I'm gonna fucking, you're getting so laid off, bitch. Amber's the only maid who gets to freeload in this house. Okay, let's get a butler. Do you wish assistance in maintaining an orderly household? Yes, and then hopefully he will fire everyone else. Yes, the, the new butler is quite capable of performing services of all the other hired help, so he is going to dismiss them. He is dismissing all the other servants. He can handle all their jobs much more efficiently. Good. Who, where is he? I want to see what he looks like. Where's our butler? Butler, we already have work for you to do. It's Brady. Brady Parker. Blech. Brady Parker, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up for Brady Parker, our new butler, who is going to be working for us full time. 
Uh, and that's exciting because we're rich as hell. Why not? So he's immediately like launching into cooking or something. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. Okay, uh, Christy is just puttering about because she has nothing better to do. Amber went back to bed. What a queen. Cool, we got Storm skilling next to her father. Storm has rolled the want to do a public wahoo, which is kind of funny. Um, we'll have to look into that. I wish we could ask Brady Parker what his sign is. Okay, the butler is turning in for the evening. I wish we could have like a little butler servant house for him. That would be funny. Bye, Brady. Have a good night. Thanks for thanks for picking up the house for us. See you tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have a kid for you to take care of tomorrow, huh? I look bet you're looking forward to that, huh, buddy? I don't know what his pain rate is. I wasn't paying good attention, but I'm sure it's not worth what we're about to put him through. <laughs> everyone wants to give gifts. Is it because it's Christmas? I guess so. It's like winter time, so everyone wants to give gifts. Do you have anything to give? He might. Let's see what we have to give. <laughs> Does he have like a fish in his pocket? I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, Storm's doing great. I feel like Storm should just keep working on her skills if she's doing so great. Like, maybe she can, um, stargaze or something. Uh, no, we have nothing to give him right now. Fine. Yeah, it's kind of a mess out here. I'm surprised the butler- Like, why isn't anyone actually cleaning our house? We're hiring so many people to clean our house, and yet. Okay, we're just waiting for one of these babies to arrive or an old person to die. That's the- that's the only thing we're waiting on. Oh, should we get a Christmas tree? Maybe so. Oh yeah, we have enough room in the front area. Let's do it. Let's throw a little Christmas party tomorrow, how about? I think that'd be kind of fun. The baby should arrive, right? That means the baby's gonna be born like on Christmas. That's cute. How cute is that? Decorating for Christmas time. And let's put the gifts out too, hold on. Cool, we decorated for Christmas. I think we should throw like a New Year's bash tomorrow too. Celebrate the babies. Oh my God, get off of the computers! Wah! Oh? Okay, Kara's really showing now, ooh! I think by tomorrow we'll, we'll see some babies start to arrive. Okay, Mint does have work today, so I just gotta make sure his his needs stay good. I think the baby should be coming this morning, if I remember correctly. Um, she's sleepy, so she should get a little sleep before the party and the baby come. Kara, who's just reading the newspaper, <laughs> love it. She loves to stay on top of the current events here. Um, oh, I was hoping we could throw a New Year's party, but maybe it's too early in the morning for that. Ellen Frost is getting engaged to Chaz Whipler. Okay, a lot of people getting engaged. It's time to change the vibe of the music too. If we're thinking winter vibes, I think let's switch it to maybe classical even. Stop reading the fun and games section of the newspaper, Cara Pistachio, you well-read woman. Okay, who's, okay. Amber's going to work, she's doing great. Oh, not Amber, Storm. Storm looks like an Amber to me, I guess. Oh, look at that fun little car she got picked up in. Uh, Storm also need, or Amber and Storm both need to go to work, but their moods are good. Kara is gonna throw her Christmas party soon, but we're getting the vibe set. I'm giving it a little bit to see if it'll let me do a New Year's bash, because that seems more like seasonal themed, but if it doesn't let me do that, that's fine. I'll just uh, have her do just a house party. Okay, let's throw this winter party. Oh, sweet, here we go. Let's throw a New Year's bash. Well, should we wait till everyone gets home, I guess? Hold on. Okay, she is not going to work today because she's pregnant. He will be back at 22 o'clock, 14 o'clock, 15 o'clock. Yeah, so Mint will be away at work, but that's okay. I think let's wait till um, Amber and Storm get home and then we'll throw the, birth the New Year's bash. So that way they're for sure here during the New Year's bash. And then Seth, you need to get that last cooking skill. Turned on the Christmas lights. Uh, they look kind of sad, but that's okay. <laughs> Maybe it'll look cuter at night. So your special day has arrived. Okay, we're gonna adopt a baby. I don't know if it's gonna be a boy or a girl. Oh, it's a baby boy. Oh, well that's really funny because uh, the next name on my name request list. So Seth's name that he had put in the request list, and by the way, uh, just so you know how these rules are working, uh, as I am seeing people like explicitly add, ask for a name to be added to the baby list, like the baby name list, I'm just adding them chronologically as I receive them. And then as babies are had, we're just like slotting them in. So the next one I had on the list was from uh, my co-host of Kingdom Hearts Wednesday, Seth. If we have a son first, he would like for me to name him Baby Girl. So this is Baby Girl, our baby boy. Here she is, here she comes. Social worker's bringing her in. Uh, yeah, let me let me think about this. What would this be? Cause uh, it's like Ramses was the first generation, Grisabella was the second, Seth was the third. We don't know the fourth yet, but this is gonna be the fifth generation child, I guess, now that I think about it. Okay, fifth generation child, that's exciting. Oh my God, we're getting so close to halfway done. Okay, coming in. Baby, baby girl, our baby boy is coming in. I think we'll call baby girl baby for short. Who's she trying to talk to? Kara? Just giving it to Kara. She's like, you look like a mother. This baby's hanging from my tits. Here you go. 
Wow, thank you for Baby Girl Gurgis. <laughs> Baby Girl Gurgis. <laughs> we need to fix their names. Uh, someone told me, oh, Belf something just happened with Belphegor. Did she get did she get betrothed to Malcolm Landgrab? Can we get a roll tape real quick? What was that? Um, okay, Storm's been asked by the team's owner to arrange for a piano to be moved from one of the star players who neither has the time nor the inkling to do it himself. The team doesn't have a budget for these types of expenses, so Storm could ask some of the rookies to do it or save herself the hassle and pay professional piano movers to do it. We're rich, so let's pay the movers to do it. Storm decides to fork out the cash herself for the cost of professional movers. The movers want 1500 but Storm talks them down to 1000 gives them directions to the player's house in the suburbs. Both the player and the team's management are so impressed with Storm's handling of the situation, she's promoted to coach and management reimburses her for the cost of the movers. Hell yeah. Oh my God. Yes. We got a promotion. Hell yes. Okay. That's awesome. So we got baby girl. Uh, baby girl is going to be Storm and Amber's child. Oh, sweet. We should also have the party now because she just rolled the want to have the party. I'm so glad. Storm's been promoted to coach. So she, I think has only one more um, level to go. And then she's going to be achieving her lifetime wants. Uh, yeah. So Storm, come on in and meet your son, baby, baby girl. Who looks cute so far. I mean, green eyes? Yeah, green eyes, brown skin, love it. Very cute. I can't wait. It looks like maybe black hair. So I'm very curious to see what baby girl ends up looking like. Uh, but yeah, Steam Tam told me in the comments below that I can do a mod, or not a mod, I can do a cheat to fix their last name back to Astro Legacy. I think I'm going to do that, even though it is abandoning the Gurgis name. Uh, I think I want us to be Astro Legacy again. Okay, so we're throwing a winter bash. I'm inviting everyone that we know. So they're all coming over for a New Year's bash. Okay, the guests are all invited. Some people didn't show up, which sucks, but whatever. Um, sweet, Seth just maxed his cooking skill. So all that he has left to max is charisma. So let's have him do that. It's lunchtime for Amber and she decides to relax by playing a quick video game while eating lunch. Her boss walks by, sees the game, asks about it. Should she show, yeah, let's show the boss. Oh my God. Amber shows her boss the game and explains some of the reasons why she likes it. Her boss listens, but that is angry that Amber was playing video games at work. Even during her lunch hour, Amber's demoted. Damn, that sucks. I'm sorry, Amber. Oh, she's gonna be in a bad mood later. Well, at least you'll come home and meet baby girl. Okay, lots of stuff happening at once here. We got baby girl in the house. I don't know if we'll be able to see Kara have her baby before the end of the episode or not. Ugh, Amber's going back to work, poor thing. Going back to work as a waitress, this poor baby. I feel so bad. Speaking of baby, baby girl is not in the crib. Hold on, where is baby girl? Where is the baby? Okay, Kara's got the baby. Thank you for taking care of baby girl. You can go ahead and just put baby girl back in the crib. I'm hoping that um, the butler will take care of baby girl in the meantime. Let's uh, try asking your dad for mechanical knowledge. I'm kind of curious to see if that would help you. If he could learn it very fast. Oh, he ne she needs charisma. Actually, dad, will you teach me charisma even though you're probably the least charismatic person I know? Did we ever throw the party? I, I never saw the party happen. Like, what the hell? Is it at midnight? Maybe because it's a New Year's bash, it's gonna be at midnight. And okay, we're just speeding it along a little bit because I want Kara to just give birth already. Ah, oh, Storm, you didn't get any charisma points from that. Seth was no help. Okay, Kara's going to sleep. That she's allowed, she's pregnant. Uh, the baby's not having a good time though. Um, it needs to be changed. Is So my question is, is the butler gonna take care of it? Or are we gonna have to take care of it? The butler has his work cut out for him. So maybe we should, let's bring Christy down since she's like doing nothing. Will you change baby girl's diaper for us, Christy? Leave the baby alone. Let the baby sleep. Let baby girl sleep. Seth, can you put baby girl in the crib? I'm putting these kids to work. <gasps> oh no. Oh my God. How much did we just lose? Oh my God. Oh no. Oh God, oh God, oh God. This is what I get. This is what I get for flying too close to the sun and letting myself do an extra long episode. Oh my God, the Sims just crashed. Oh no. Oh my God, how much did we just lose? Oh God, I hope that we at least have the baby. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Oh, I'm so nervous, you guys. I'm sweating. Do we still have baby girl? Oh my God, do we have anything? Oh my God, oh my God, do we have any of the promotions? We were on a success streak. I should have just saved. I should have just quit. Oh, there's no baby, fuck. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I don't know the last time I saved. Oh my God, I'm so scared. When was the last time the lot would have saved? Oh my God, I think this is our first gameplay crash. Like we've had the power get lost before, but like, I think I was able to save the game last time this this time like i have the footage and not the game 
Oh my God. Well, technically I guess I could use the footage. Oh God, we're coming back from a community lot. This is not good. We don't have the baby anymore. Oh my God, is Kara pregnant even? I don't even know if Kara's pregnant. God, we lost so much. <laughs> we're back from having the affair at the salon. Um, so we didn't quite lose like everything in the world, but we lost quite a bit. Uh, did we lose? Oh my God, did we lose like redoing upstairs? We did, oh, we've lost so much. This is gonna be a huge, dilemma like do we play yeah i guess i'm gonna play through the crash and i'm we'll just mourn the life that we just lived that we just lost i'll probably redo a lot of this stuff again oh <sighs> but not on this record oh my god i'm so sad that was so depressing we got a care like see we got a karaoke machine from marissa this time instead of an extra telescope things are already working out differently well rest in pieces to that alternate reality moment that was like adam sandler's click Oh my God, Belphegor Gurgis is now pregnant with Sean's baby. Oh, how sad. You lowered your standards, Belphegor. But yeah, like Adam Sandler's click, we just woke up in a bed, bath and beyond. And that whole thing was just a dream that Cara Pistachio was having while we were away having an affair at the salon. <laughs> this is so depressing, you guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, here we go. Her baby bump is happening, I think. So... All right, guys, I am so sorry for this episode. I'm so sorry to Adam Sandler's click you, but yeah. We're back at Cara Pistachio having her baby bump. We briefly had baby girl in an alternate reality and uh, I'm gonna go cry. <laughs> in fact, I'm gonna save the lot. Okay, so one thing I do wanna check too. Ugh, Amber no longer had spun the want to adopt a baby. Okay guys, I'm very sad. So this is where I'm gonna leave you for this week. I'm sorry to put you through all that. Vassal still got engaged to Canon God though, and that's something we can all laugh about still. We'll redo that stuff and it'll be different. You know, it's we're, we're dipping our toes into the multiverse uh, here on Hand Drawn TV, here on the Sims 2 Astro Legacy Challenge. So I will see you guys next week. Goodbye. <laughs> I think I know where my cold open moment can be.